Okay, we're rolling. Hey guys, welcome to Harry's Little Cash. So, if you saw our last video, I had all the kids, the little kids, take everything out of the fridges. And we had about a quarter cup of potato salad in this bowl. And it didn't need to go back in the fridge, so you grab a fork, you eat out of the bowl. That's what happens. But look, I've got something big cleaned out of my fridge and in the sink. There we go. So, this is real, this is raw. I don't know what's in some of these containers, so we might find some green fuzz or something. I don't know, not that those usually happen, but if something gets pushed to the back of the fridge, you all know if you cook at home, sometimes that happens and things are there. So I got everything out of our fridge. We have two fridges up here in our kitchen. Got everything out of those, the kids wiped them down. I also gathered the other perishable stuff in the kitchen. We also have a garden outside. And if you know anything about gardens, we have perishable stuff in the garden because it'll only last so long. So I got everything out. I'm gonna walk through it with you for the first time to see what I got. And we're gonna write a meal plan of what we're doing for food. If I go on the other side of the table, are they still gonna hear me? Yep. We're problem solving while we do this. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. You can stay there, but I need to write a list. Okay. Sorry, I'm on the squeaky spot. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna write the list for snacks first. So I told you guys the other day, a wonderful viewer, viewers like you, um, donated this yogurt to our family the other day. So these are snacks because as you can see, I got a bunch of those right there. I think that's all of them, but the kids, I occasionally, if we have a lot of something, we'll tell the kids that that is free reign. If they would like to have that, they can have as much of that as they, within reason. They're not allowed to have like the entire thing, but they're allowed to just ask in the middle of the day, Hey, can I have one of those? And it's usually a yes. So yogurts are gonna be for snack. I will write down more stuff as I do. Again, real life. So we're gonna go through the table, show you some of the stuff we got. We have eggs. We have lots of eggs. Eggs were on sale this week and the price of these big boxes of eggs just went down. But if this looks like a lot of eggs for a normal sized family, it probably is, but we're not a normal sized family. For anyone who's watching for the first time, I'm Sarah. My husband, Mark, is behind the camera and we have seven children living at home. We also have an older son who is out of the house. But for the seven children that are living at home, they are ages 17, 13, 10, eight, just turned eight, five, almost three, and 10 months. And so, almost 10 months. <laughs> and so um, the little one does not eat regular food yet, except a little applesauce here and there. But the rest of the kids eat. The rest of the kids eat like they are teenagers. So these boxes of eggs will not last us that long if we actually do them for meals. A 60 count box of eggs is like three breakfasts for us if I stretch it with other stuff. So this isn't that much food actually. Just, just so you know where we're coming from. So I got a lot of eggs. So breakfasts are gonna be eggs. We have chicken. My mom made some chicken last night. She ended up having to run out to take care of somebody at the last minute. And so it's a little dry, so I'm gonna do something with it. It still tastes really good. We had it on salad last night. So I'm thinking, I need my marker. So what's today? What is today? Tuesday? Monday? Monday, August Monday. 3rd. Okay, so I'm it's Monday. Dead. When I do my menu plan, I just do BLS, breakfast, lunch, supper. For breakfast this morning, what do we have? Viewers like you donated us some plain donuts. And this morning, Naomi um, dipped them in butter and then cinnamon sugar, and then they had this for breakfast. So they had donuts. Not difficult. Do you spell donuts this way, or do you spell it with the GH? We're not doing the British way. Donuts. And some of us had some eggs along with it because I wanted eggs instead. For lunch today, we're going to use some of that chicken. We're going to put some barbecue sauce on it. And if you look over here at our perishable items, we have some hamburger buns left over from my mom. Um, my sister came down the other day and we had hamburgers and those were leftover buns. So to use those up and to use up the chicken, we are going to do, oh, we're coming over here. Right. We're, no, that's fine. We're going to do barbecue chicken. Um, my handwriting is not great when I'm writing fast and you get all the little shortcuts. And for supper, we're going to do chicken enchiladas. I have a whole lot of tortillas and enchiladas. If you want to spell this right, you go write it yourself on your own piece of paper, but I'm doing it however I do it here. So that's how it works. So um, you'll see some tortillas that are in the fridge. Um, 
we got some more tortillas yesterday, so I want to be able to use those up. And we'll probably do that with just a simple salad on the side. Maybe even just cut up lettuce, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so see, this is how I do my menu planning. When I have a lot of weird things in the fridge, we just kind of walk through it like this. So we got chicken. We have a bunch of half and halves because I found them at a good price at Sam's Club the other day. There were more. This is what happens when the kids help you. It all gets spread out everywhere. We'll find it all. So these half and halves have a date of October 12th. And like we said, this is the start of August. We'll use about one of these a week between coffee and then using it in some recipes. Um, so this is six weeks with a creamer, not, I mean, half and half, really not that much. So that's not going on a menu plan. Here's the tortillas, we found the tortillas. I found these on Sam's Club, they'll send them right to your house. Um, and I think it was like $3.50 for a package and it's 40 tortillas. So that seemed like a pretty good deal. Our family likes tortillas. Okay, milk. I have to do something with this milk because this milk was in the freezer. You'll see the date is um, 626. So that would be expired if it had been sitting in my fridge the whole time. This is not expired milk. Um, this has been sitting in my freezer. When this whole pandemic stuff started, um, if I had the ability to buy a little extra milk, I'd buy it and put it in the freezer. But milk has now been available all the time, no limits. So I'm starting to use that milk up in the freezer. This got taken out of the freezer the other day and I need to use it. So we'll do a menu plan for tomorrow. Some of the milk will be used in the enchiladas tonight. Tuesday, we will do breakfast. The kids can make ooh, pancakes. I don't know about your kids, but my kids love pancakes. They love to put a couple chocolate chips on while they're cooking and have chocolate chip pancakes. That's their favorite thing. We do them without syrup. That's, that's what they get. They just eat them with their fingers. So that will use up some milk. And then for lunch, we will do mac and cheese. Um, on these menu plans that I'm making, Lunch and supper are sometimes interchanged. So like if I write this here, we might then decide to flip it. Not today because barbecue chicken is going to be easier. But we might decide to flip it to the next meal. Just know that sometimes it moves around within the day or even moves to the next day and we'll swap it out for something. That's just how my menu planning goes. So I think between the chicken enchiladas, which I'll make the cheese sauce tonight that will go on the mac and cheese, and the pancakes will use up most of that gallon of milk. If I have any left, um, I'll figure out something to do and maybe I'll tell you on an Instagram or a Facebook what I did with that. So there we go. We're still working here. Come back to the table with me. Okay, so we got some cottage cheese. Found out a cool thing the other day. I think this is cottage cheese. We're gonna open it. No green, right? No, this is the one I opened just the other day. <laughs> so we found out with cottage cheese, if you're making pasta, you throw in some just plain tomato sauce, some oregano, and a couple spoonfuls of cottage cheese, it gives you kind of a quick lasagna taste. So we made that for a meal the other day. What we were gonna make didn't turn out and we needed something fast. That's what we made, came out great. Um, the cottage cheese is a really good price at Sam's Club. Feta cheese, just found out the family likes feta cheese. It goes a lot farther because you don't use as much. It's very, very um, strong. rich, strong, strong, tangy, whatever you wanna call it. But all the kids like it, so we use this on eggs a lot. Cheese. We're cheese hoarders around here. See this? I've mentioned in another video. Um, if you saw, we went on grocery haul last week to Sam's Club. Our family likes cheese. Everyone in the family can eat cheese. The average serving for cheese is one ounce. And so one of these containers of cheese is 32 servings. So that's this whole block of cheese is four days worth of one piece of cheese for each of us. So that's really not that much when you look at our family our size. And these all have a date of sell by May 30th, 2021. These will be eaten before May 30th, 2021. We will probably eat, because we have shredded cheese and stuff in our freezers, this will probably last us a little more than a week. So we have a little more than six weeks worth of cheese here. Okay, here's the milk we're gonna use. Tomato sauce. I have another tomato sauce somewhere. Ah, right here. So we buy the number 10 cans of tomato sauce and whatever we don't use, we put into these um, gallon or quart jars. And then I use those just with Italian seasoning and we make our own, that's how we just make spaghetti sauce and stuff. So when we're making pizza, um, we spread out our dough, we pour just the tomato sauce on top and then we sprinkle oregano on top or Italian seasoning. I'm really easy. I do things really quick. 
That's just how things go around here. We have lettuce. We'll be using some of that with chicken enchiladas tonight. And we're gonna put salads on the list for tomorrow. Can't take the top off. Ugh. So salads. Usually our salads have some type of meat on top. So if I use the rest of the chicken between the meals that we're making, I will make some more meat, whether it be burger or chicken. We will put something on top of the salads or we'll use cheese and nuts or cranberries, that type of thing on top of our salads. Well, something we didn't see about the meat. We still have some of that Canadian bacon. <gasps> we do have Canadian that bacon. That would be good on salads tomorrow. That would be good on salads. So maybe we'll do the Canadian bacon on salads. The Canadian bacon that we put in the other video, a couple of the packages went right to the freezer. Another package got opened up and cut, and we will use those on eggs over the next couple of days. So this day... Time out. I'm closing the door. Oh, it's a little windy outside. We have a tropical storm warning today, which is weird because the tropical storm isn't coming through till Wednesday, but we have a tropical storm warning today. We're in Maine. We're not really a tropical storm area, but anyway. So this day, probably us adults will have eggs, as both of us are trying to reduce our carbs. Sometimes we're not as successful, but we're trying. <laughs> Pancakes are like the definition of carby. You think so? Slightly. My mom likes um, pancakes and waffles because they're the transporter for syrup to your mouth. That's what she likes. So we're gonna do eggs for breakfast this day, and we're probably gonna do some English muffins with them because I have some in the freezer that need to get used. Thanks to viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you viewers. We have a lot of breakfast stuff, thanks to viewers. Okay, so we've got carrots, and we've got carrots, um, and we've got carrots. <laughs> Last time I went to Walmart, we were out of carrots, so I bought a couple bags, um, not knowing that I had one bag already. So we need to make some cooked carrots someday. So Josiah will be happy. Josiah loves cooked carrots. Oh, and in all of this, we haven't even gotten to the other part of the stuff. So with this, we are having green beans. I'll explain that in a minute. I'm gonna make a little. See, my thoughts aren't very organized. Okay, we're gonna have green beans there. And with our stuff tonight, we're going to have zucchini. Cheesy zucchini stuff, it's so yummy. So, okay, back to what, what was I doing? Carrots, <laughs> we're gonna have cooked carrots on this dinner. Cooked carrots, not sure. Oh, I know what we'll have with it. You're gonna like this, shepherd's pie. Mark likes We like. I probably spelled that wrong. <laughs> okay, so Mark likes We're not going to look pie. at that word anymore. <laughs> Shep. Shep herd. Shep, Shep herd. Sheep herders. There we go. I knew as soon as I wrote it, I did it wrong. Um, so we will do the shepherd's pie and cooked carrots on the side. He will love that. Okay. Awesome. So lots of carrots. I also can put these as a snack. The kids think carrot sticks are the greatest snack ever because we don't eat them regularly. If I cut up some carrots and put them in the fridge, the kids are going to think. I, I don't know. We go to a friend's house on Sundays and I let the kids eat as many carrots as they want and they're like orange on Monday. So it's just how it happens. Okay, this milk is all good. This is in date till August 11th. There's not much of this left. This is the end of sugar water. Hold on, we're gonna move some stuff. Let me find my top from my marker before it dries out. See, this is how it works. You've got to walk around with me because I can't stand in one spot. Okay, we've got a little bit of coffee in this jar, cold brew. If you don't know, we have cold brew recipe somewhere on our web thing. Look at it. Um, we have more coffee somewhere. Here's more coffee. So I'm going to make a coffee drink after we're done. Oh, and half and half. I showed you all this half and half over here. This was a half and half we had from last week. So we'll use the older one first. There we go. Okay, back around the table. These are both bacon grease. I don't know if you keep your bacon grease, but bacon grease is wonderful, especially to cook eggs in. And I've heard cooking your green beans in bacon grease is very, very good. I forget yeah, who told me that. Try that. Maybe Lola told me that the other day. I don't remember. So we have apple cider vinegar. We have salad dressings. We're gonna make here, I'll just leave them over here. We're going to move our green beans. Okay, so our green beans are from our garden. Virginia and Mark plucked them all the other day, and we just I need to eat them. No plucking whatsoever. But this bag of green beans is one meal for us, so this really isn't 
For most families, that might look like a lot of green beans, not really a lot of green beans for us. So here's our condiments. We've got vinegar, apple cider vinegar, very good for your health. Look up the benefits for it if you choose to. Um, salad dressing. Here comes somebody. I hear somebody coming out of the room. Buffalo sauce. Molasses. If you keep molasses on hand, you can make um, sugar, brown sugar. That's the word for it. Um, that's, what that's what brown sugar is, is molasses mixed with white sugar. So we keep molasses on hand. You don't need to refrigerate it, but I choose to because we can sometimes have a problem with ants. And if I put it in the fridge, the ants won't get to it. We have an empty container of Parmesan cool. cheese. Um, I buy the big containers at Sam's Club and restock this one. And we just had used the rest of this before Sam's Club the other day. And we have not had a meal since then that needed Parmesan cheese. So this was in the fridge and will be refilled. We have mayonnaise. We very rarely use mayonnaise. Mommy uses mayonnaise when I'm pregnant because I really like the taste of mayonnaise when I'm pregnant. Um, but other than that, we don't use it very often, except for mom's potato salad. That's why it was out the other day. We have pickles. And I don't remember buying these, so maybe mom got these for us. I'm not sure. <laughs> she might have brought them over for our meal the other day. Grandma purchase. Um, so for those who don't know, anyone who might be new, my grandmother lives, my, not my mother, what? not my grandmother, my mother lives in a small house in the backyard. She built herself, um, like she got a modular, done. And so she eats with us most nights. She occasionally will make dinner for us. She's doing that more often now, which is great. It's been like multiple times this week. But Friday, my sister came down to visit and my mom went out and bought all the stuff for hamburgers. So I got some extra stuff that I didn't know was in my fridge. This is another good reason to clean out the fridge. Jalapeno slices, not used very often, but they're yummy. Banana peppers, my kids love those and fight over those. Um, Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, this is some old fire cider. Um, we're going to get rid of it. I know you can keep fire cider for a long time, but this has been in there and I'm not even sure the ingredients we put in. I'm going to make some new fire cider with actual herbs. This is more like dried spices. So I'm gonna actually get some ginger and those types of things and make some fire cider. So this is gonna go away. We use fire cider when we have colds and sicknesses, but we haven't because we haven't gone anywhere because of COVID. But if you open it up, I can smell it just cause I shook it. It is very, you wanna smell it? <laughs> you, take like, you take like a teaspoon every hour or something when you're sick every 15 minutes at the start of sickness. Some of the people in the family really like it, some don't. So, okay, going back to the table. We have soy sauce, I'm trying to grab the condiments. We have Frank's Red Hot. We have some people in this family that really, really like the Frank's Red Hot, like the guy behind the camera. We've got salsa. We've got ranch. Jelly. Applesauce, which the baby has been enjoying. I'm actually going to leave the applesauce not in the condiments. Butter, always necessary. Maple syrup. Maple syrup, this one's almost gone, so I'll probably put those two together before I put them away. These containers can be found at Walmart for less than a dollar, and I find that it's easier to direct the syrup onto a pancake or whatever than this one. Big glugs come out of here easier to put less on when you use this little container. Worcestershire, 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 however you say that word, we have some of that stuff. We have some relish with no label on it. Some barbecue sauce. Some ketchup. We were given We did hundreds. not steal ketchup packets. No, no, we were given hundreds of these packets um, from a food thing. Um, like a know, thousand two in a years box ago. Or Yeah, like a thousand in a box. So we just keep a package, a bag of them up in our fridge, and then we have them easily ready when we need them. What else do we have for condiments? We have garlic. You can buy regular garlic and use it in recipes. This just happens to be easier. We have basil that my sister gave us. I haven't done anything with I should probably remember to use that. Um, what's your favorite way to use basil? Let me know in the comments. We have a little bit of blueberry jelly, really, really yummy, or blueberry jam, or I don't know when it's preserves or jam or jelly. It's blueberry something that you put on bread. Got some more butter. We got some lemon juice. This is from my aunt and uncle. We randomly get things from them. They live in town six months a year. We have more green beans. Yeah, That's man. not a condiment. It's just going over here on the thing. 
we have a little bit of cream cheese. Why people in my house put back this much cream cheese? I think we might have a teaspoon in that. So we will, we will use that. We have a tiny bit of lettuce from a meal the other day. I'm in a squeaky spot, I'm sorry. See this spot right here? Crazy. We have chapstick. Our family does not normally use chapstick. I used to use chapstick a lot when I was a kid and I found that when I used it all the time, if I would then stop using it, my lips were always really raw because they got used to having chapstick all the time. So we keep it in our fridge and we use it like if somebody's sick, um, everybody has different ones, so we're not getting each other sick, huh? Winter time. Winter time, but we don't use them day by day. So still here, still over there. Okay, we'll go back to condiments in a minute. Here's chocolate that Mark was looking for last night. Mark bought me this chocolate. Um, this is my favorite kind. Um, Symphony milk chocolate with almonds and toffee chips. Feel free to send them. Mark bought this. <laughs> and last night, it was like 9 o'clock at night, Mark's like, do we have any chocolate in the house? And I was like, I think we have chocolate chips, but I don't know if that candy bar is still left. So we'll make sure that is readily available. We have cabbage. We have these cabbages, plus we have, woo, plus we have that cabbage over there. Um, Hold on, the camera guy's moving. Yeah. Bye, move again. Okay. okay, so cabbage is something that our family really likes. We eat it raw or we will cook with it. Um, stuff we always like. Um, so we will see. We got cheese. I might have mentioned that before. We have sour cream, and I think this is all sour cream. Um, so, Daddy, give me the camera for a second. We just need to make sure Josiah is not feeling off because nice. Josiah is. Josiah's um, our eight-year-old, for people who are new, he has seizures and epilepsy, and sometimes when he's feeling off, he has a hard time listening to the directions. So, I will let you see what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn the camera around, sorry, sorry, kind of bumpy ride. Bumpy ride for you, sorry, dropped the camera. Okay, so we actually, that one's not even open yet, that's our sour cream, so that's gonna go with the stuff that's just going away in the fridge. This one, I don't know, might be sour cream. Camera guy's back. Oh, camera guy's back, I'll try not to drop you handing him back. Okay, sour cream. I think it's, yep, that's a new uh, open one. So I'm going to make sure to move that so it makes sure it goes in the. We have two fridges. You might be able to see this one behind me. This is usually the one we use for, I'll put like the big blocks of cheese that we aren't using currently. And then the one over there is the one we're using for our current food. So that's, that's how it goes. We have yogurts, and I think most of these are closed. Um, your, uh, Josiah, who I was just talking about, has to take medication every day that I have to open up a capsule. And so we um, put it on yogurt because he does not like applesauce. What kid doesn't like applesauce? So those are all closed, but I try to make sure I have them on hand so we have them. And this is the open one. And we'll make sure that goes in that fridge. These are all open cheeses, so that will go in that fridge. Onions will go in the enchiladas tonight. I don't even know what's in this bowl. Hmm. It's pasta. It's pasta from last night. So that's still good. I'll have to put it on our menu plan somewhere. It will go with the mac and cheese. So here's another thing you can do. I'm gonna write leftover pasta so we remember to put it in. Leftover pasta. And here I'm going to say use onions because those onions that are cut up in the bag, I don't want to stay in the fridge too long. So that will help us. What else is on the table? This is CBD oil. This is the stuff that Josiah also takes along with the medication that he has. These are D-manos, which are um, used for women's health, um, urinary tract health. Men can use it too, but usually women have more problems with UTIs. And this is the sugar that is found in cranberries and you can take just the capsule. Your body does not absorb it. It just cleans out your bladder, like your urinary tract. And so I keep it on hand for if the kids start complaining that they're peeing often or that they have pain. And we've never actually had to get treated for a UTI in many, many years. Um, we have wine that we have used for communion. That's what that is. We don't um, really drink otherwise. No, I think we've had this in the fridge for a few months, and you'll see one of the little bottles is gone, so it's not yeah. something we use very often. Um, but we do use it 
In the Bible, it talks about using wine for the Lord's Supper. We use wine for the Lord's Supper. There you go. We haven't really been doing the Lord's Supper recently with other people because COVID is going on. So this is the stuff I moved over. We have the hamburger buns that I pointed out earlier. We have four zucchini, which is gonna be for the zucchini stuff tonight. We have more zucchini in the garden coming. So we'll be eating a lot of zucchini in the next few days. Here are some potatoes that need to be used. Plus I think I have one or two more big bags down in the I have no idea what just went by. That it was on the road. was really, really loud. At first I thought it was a helicopter. But... Sounded like a jake break. Um, so really close. We have these potatoes, plus I got more potatoes downstairs, so that's going to be used for the shepherd's pie in the next couple days. I brought out all the perishable stuff. Here's that other cabbage I was talking about. Does it know how to slow down? <laughs> they're not supposed to use jake breaks there. We had two sodas that are going to go back in the fridge. We have two apples and three peaches. Um, don't worry, you've seen a lot of vegetables on the table, you have not seen a lot of fruits, but I have a lot of frozen fruit. So when we have gotten pineapples recently, we cut them up and we freeze them. And when we've gotten grapes recently, we cut them up and we freeze them. I also have some frozen berries and a big 30 pound box of frozen blueberries. So we do eat fruit, it's just usually in frozen form. So our family is getting fruit, just not here where you see it. We have one leftover donut from the donuts we enjoyed this morning. Um, anything else, Mark? What else should I add to this? Okay, so that's what we are doing for our meals. You can look at that. I would probably, here, let me think of one more meal that we're gonna do right here. This meal right here, we are going to have cabbage. We should do something with cabbage. Um, let's do cabbage with spaghetti sauce. Sure. So we will make a spaghetti sauce. What I usually do for spaghetti sauce is we cut up, here, I'm going to, I'm going to take the camera and Mark can go tell the kids that we're almost done. So we will take the um, tomato sauce that I showed you. We will put it in the crock pot with some diced tomatoes, with some Italian seasoning, some onions, usually um, shredded carrots, cut up zucchini all of that type of stuff, and we will let it cook all day or all night. I will actually put it on our sun porch. Um, I will try to show you right there. Oh, there is our sun porch, so I can close the door and let the heat stay out there overnight in the summertime. We will make a big pot of spaghetti sauce, and then we will cook I the- don't like that, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're looking right up my nose, I don't know. Do, sure I, have, do I have stuff up my nose? Okay, so- um, <laughs> So we will do spaghetti sauce and then we will just um, saute some cabbage or steam some cabbage and we will eat the spaghetti sauce on top of cabbage instead of having noodles. So that's another low carb way that you can have that. So I think that covers that. We will eat these meals that I showed you over the next couple days. Oh, and on our snacks list, I'm also adding popcorn, which is not in the fridge, but we have a bunch and it's a nice, quick, um, cheap treat. We're gonna put all this stuff away. In a couple days, I will do another video and we will clean out our pantry, which I will show you. If you've watched us, you know that I have a whole bunch of stuff downstairs in the basement, but here's what I have in the pantry. We have random cans of stuff that have been given to us. So I will do this same type of thing, let the kids empty everything out. We will go through and we will plan a couple days worth of meals with the stuff that's in here. So thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed yet or hit the bell or the like button or whatever the stuff is down here, is that down here? I don't know. I don't really, I watch YouTube. I don't really know how to use YouTube very well. So do something down here, whatever you feel like doing. Hopefully not a thumbs down, but if you didn't like this video, give us a thumbs down so I know what people are watching. And we hope you join us next time on Hurting Little Cats. <laughs>